Hi YouTube. In this video, I will be explaining how to install a 120 volt GFCI outlet, also known as a GFI outlet. This is it seen here. This is our 120 volt GFCI outlet. I will also be explaining how to take a regular outlet like this one and tie it into the low side of a GFI outlet and have the GFCI outlet trip this outlet or control this outlet. Okay, before we get started on installing our GFCI outlet, I would like to share some information about the GFCI outlet. GFCI is the abbreviation for ground fault circuit interrupter. GFCI outlets are installed around areas that may be exposed to water. For example, you may see them in kitchens near the kitchen sink. You may see them in bathrooms near the bathroom sink. You may see them in the garage or the carport or outdoors. All these places are exposed to water at any given time. GFCI outlets are designed to deactivate or shut off when they are exposed to water or when equipment plugged into them may be exposed to water. So if this outlet is on the low side of GFI and I plug a toaster oven into it and the toaster oven falls into the water in a kitchen sink, it will instantly shut off the GFCI. The purpose of that is to prevent people from being electrocuted. Okay, so now we are ready to install our GFCI outlet. The most important thing in this video is what I'm about to tell you right now. The most important thing is to shut off the circuit before you begin working on it. So I would be working on the circuit controlled by these wires. So I turn off the circuit so that, I, so that I prevent myself from being electrocuted to shock, which I've already turned off the circuit before I even started the video, so the circuit is off. So let's take a look at our outlet. This is our GFCI outlet. Let's look. On one side of the GFCI outlet is two copper screws. This is where our hot wire would land. In this video, our hot wires are black okay on the other side of the GFCI outlet is two silver screws this is where our neutral wires would land in this video our neutral wires are white and on the bottom is a green ground screw this is where our ground wire would land in this video our ground wire is bell copper the ground wire can also be green but in this video, it's bell copper. Now, let me uh, show you something on the back of this GFCI. This is the most important thing about this outlet. Okay, on the bottom, there's line, and on the top, there's load. It's very important to land the wires where they need to land, or the GFCI outlet may not work properly. So the wires coming from the panel, there should be a black wire, a black hot wire coming from the panel and a white neutral wire coming from the panel. Those wires that's coming from the panel of the power source need to land on the line. So the wires coming from the panel need to land on the bottom for the line. So the wire coming from the hot wire coming from the panel must land on this bottom copper screw. The white wire coming from the panel must land on this silver. Uh, bottom screw here so keep that in mind and for the load the load wires are coming from this outlet so they must land on the load over here so the black wire coming from this outlet must land on this copper gold copper screw on the load and the white wire coming from this outlet must land on this silver copper screw for the load Okay, now let's take a look in our box. So, in our box, we have two white wires, one for the line, one for the load. 
and we have two black wires, one for the line, one for the low. And you have one copper wire. I just splice them together because there's only one ground screw and they land on the ground screw. So I've already identified the wires coming from the panel with blue tape. These are the wires coming from the panel. These wires here, this black and this white is coming from this outlet. They're the load and the wires that I marked with blue tape there the line. So we're ready to install. Okay, here we go. So I take my outlet. The first thing I always like to uh, terminate is my green screw and my ground wire. So I take my ground wire and I slide it. Oh, excuse me. Under my green screw, like so. I take my screwdriver and I tighten it down. Okay. I pull on it to make sure that it doesn't come out. Okay. Then I start with my line side wires, which is the wires marked by blue. Okay. I strip them off. Now, I'll, I'll start with my hat first. I like to. Uh, Strip off about, you don't have to strip off a lot. I strip off no more than a half of an inch, three eighths of an inch. Okay? All right. I then I take my hot wire coming from my panel and I slide it under the line side screw. Slide that under the line side screw. My hot wire under the line side copper screw. And then I'll take my screwdriver and I'll torque it down. Okay, and then I'll pull on it to make sure it is indeed on underneath the screw and that it won't come out. I'll turn over to my silver screws. I will strip my line side neutral. Okay, I will place it under the line side silver screw. Line side silver screw, like so. I'll tighten it down. Okay. So now I've installed my line side wires. The wires coming from the panel. Now I'm about to install my load side wires coming from this outlet. Okay. Alright. So it doesn't matter which one we start with. I'll start with my neutral. Okay. I'll take it. I'll slide it underneath. My load side silver screw, my neutral under my load side silver screw. Okay, I'll tighten down. Okay, I'll pull it, is indeed underneath it, won't come off. I'll turn to my load side copper screw and I'll put my black wire underneath that. I'll strip about three eighths of an inch. I'll take it, I'll slide it under my load side. Hot screw, my load side hot screw. Okay, okay. All right, and tighten down, pull on it. Okay, so now I've gotten all the wires on the outlet terminated. Now, very important thing: this copper wire, the copper bare copper wire that's attached to the ground screw, is very important that it does not come in contact with the silver screws or the gold screws. If the bare copper wire comes in contact with those copper screws, it will instantly trip the circuit breaker. So to prevent those screws from coming in contact with this bare copper wire, I like to take tape and cover my screws. Cover my screws with tape, okay? Like so. Now I'm ready to actually put my outlet in the box. Okay. Okay. Ready to put my outlet in. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Now I'm ready to put my cover on for the outlet. Okay. Okay. And now that the outlet is installed, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. Now that the outlet is installed, we could now check the outlet. We could check it, the outlet. Okay, we'll check it. Well, first we gotta go turn on the circuit. Let me go and turn on the circuit. Give me one, give me about 30 seconds to turn on the circuit. Okay, the circuit is indeed on. So let's check it and see. So you got a test and you got a reset. So you, you set it and then you test it. Now let's test it with something. I got a little tester here. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have this tester to test it. You can use a lamp, you can use a radio, anything. So I'm gonna plug this in and I am going to test it. Okay, I just stripped it off. It's hard to see with the light. I'm going to turn off the lights so that you can actually see the tester. Okay, turn that light off and turn this light off. Now you can see the tester. Okay, the tester is working properly. These two orange lights let me know that the tester is working properly. And it also let me know that the outlet is working properly. So I could test it by hitting this test button right here. Okay, turns it off. So what we wanted was we wanted this outlet to be controlled by this GFCI outlet. So let's let's uh I turned it back on. So this little button on the top is the reset button. This little button on the bottom is the test button to test the outlet to see if it works. So let's plug this in. Okay. So that outlet's working. We need to know that this outlet will shut off if I miss. Match the test button on the GLCI outlet. Okay, let's see. And it does. So that's working properly. Turn it back on. Plug it in top. And it's working properly. Now, this is just a little tester that I uh I got from Home Depot for about ten dollars. You don't have to go out and buy this. You can you can test this outlet with the little test button on the outlet. And it, it does the same thing. Now, one last thing that I would like to show you, okay? These little stickers here, they come in the GFCI box when you buy them. And what you're supposed to do is any outlet that's being controlled by the GFCI outlet itself, any regular outlet, you put the little sticker on the outlet so that people would know that that particular outlet is GFCI controlled. So that is it for installing a GFCI and installing a regular outlet on the load side of a GFCI. I hope that you could benefit from it. I thank you for watching. Thank you so much.